And so as an actor, I've learned preparation is everything. And I, I just I just enjoy the process. I don't question the process. And I allow it to be whatever will be on that screen will be on that screen. And if people don't like it, that's their problem because I gave everything I had and I, I don't know what else to tell you. What's up, man? Thank you for uh, for taking the time today. Nice to meet you. You too. I, uh, I got to see you guys at the Grammy Museum the other day. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Cool, 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 cool. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> of course. Um, but that that so I, I heard a little bit about your process and stuff, which which makes me one wonder. You practiced violin. You said for like six hours a day, most days. Uh, but even in addition to that, you had to learn how to fence and get your lines down and all that stuff. Did you worry that other parts of your performance were going to suffer because you had to spend so much time on the violin? Damn, damn, oh, damn. How many thoughts? Damn. <laughs> um, <laughs> listen, I think I, I was concerned about that because there's, there's not a lot of time, but, and I think the thing is, it's like when you, when you get the script, what my process was, is like, I'm going to prep the script in its entirety. I'm going to try to learn everything. Now, as you heard from the Q&A, they kept changing the script. That's where things got tricky for me, because <laughs> then you're just like full scenes are gone. Full moments are not there anymore. And I still have to find the connected tissue to make it work. And, you know, Stephen, Stephen said he wanted to have the greatest hits. He didn't want to have too much fluff in it. And so as an actor, you're trying to find ways because we love private moments. We love these little small things that give you a little insight into a character. So, it, you know, I, was there a lot of time? No, but you just have to not sleep. You have to not sleep. That's all. While you were spending all that time learning the violin, do you feel like just the time you spend by yourself practicing helps you relate to Joseph Pallone? Like, could you picture that he was doing the same thing at some point in his life, spending all that time with his instrument? Yeah, but I pictured that he loved it. So <laughs> that was the difference. I was like, uh, I really don't get it. Um, <laughs> uh, I, but <laughs> I think... I think what I what kept me focused, though, was the fact that um, it was going to incite so many other things. The violin playing was going to tell me about the physicality. The violin playing was going to tell me about um, how he how certain lines in his music, they transfer into thoughts, actually. And so if you the being a virtuoso, that means there's a quick thinking going ahead. So conversationally, I wanted to make sure it was like I was always a little bit ahead on what I wanted to say. And he's listening and still kind of responding and then also omitting. He's like constantly editing. And so I kind of, you know, I, that's what I was trying to process is like, how does this affect the speech pattern? Um, how does this affect the, you know, just how does it affect everything else? So I was looking how to bring it back to my acting because that's the thing I'm passionate about. There's this line you say in the film that I that I love, which is the more I excelled, the less I was alone. Can you speak to how you felt this man had to navigate his society kind of through that lens? That was the fascinating thing that I had to constantly investigate every day, though, when you're playing him. I, what, I, what I loved about the script was the fact that I had no clue. And Stephanie did such a good job of giving us a heartbeat and and and, and watching him actively work towards um a goal. But there's so many disrespectful things said to him. There's so many just isolating moments where you truly feel like no one gets it. No one sees you. No one cares about you. Friendships being abandoned, betrayals, all these things. It's like, how do you psychologically process that? And the only thing is, is you being like, I'm so focused on getting back to, to the love and I think his love was that violin when he was on that plantation when he was a kid. It was that's when he first was introduced to real love and community. Love is so powerful. We will do anything for it. We will fight for it till the end. And that that was the thing that kept driving him forward. And that's the thing I wanted to focus on. It's like, I don't know if it's through Josephine. I don't know if it's my friendship with Antoinette. I don't know it. Um, I don't know if it's with my mom. I don't know. But I'm, I don't, maybe it's becoming the director of Paris. I've always known, I, I want to get back to that feeling I had when I was seven and music felt like it, that, that passion for something felt like everything. You said the other day, you got this gig, I think while you were shooting Elvis, uh, yeah. you, you mentioned like Austin Butler kind of said something offhand, but did you have any talks with him just about being front and center in a film like this? 
Yeah, I called him in the middle of it because I got really overwhelmed and a little bit discouraged because I was struggling a bit in the middle of the production. Mm -hmm. And which is how, how time consuming everything was and how fast it moved. And I wasn't I, I was really concerned. I was like messing it up. And I called him and I, and um, he was so sweet. <laughs> he was he was he's just so funny because he's such an optimist 24 seven. Like, <laughs> And so he, but his advice was just like, he just, he related to me. He was like, it is hard. And right now you're in suffering imposter syndrome. And ultimately like with any artist in that phase of the process is that they're also feeling like an imposter. He said, so lean into it, trust it, and don't necessarily try to fight it. That's part of the storytelling. Um, and so that's how I moved forward from there. But he was really, really cool about just... Just being my, you know, being my bro when I needed him. How long did it take you to shoot the that opening scene? Is is insane. Like the duel between him and Mozart. Like, was that the hardest scene to shoot? How long did that take? What was that like? It wasn't the hardest scene to shoot, strangely enough. It was just the longest scene to shoot. It took all day. And there were a lot of different camera movements. And and you just have to, I think the heart, the big, the heart, what made it hard though, is like you get to a point where you've really locked down that. The, the performance you could play the song front ways and back ways it it was just the stamina it's hard like no one really recommends playing the violin that long it it doesn't especially in the way that joseph is playing it and yeah. so it becomes the your fingers are bleeding you know like your nail beds are just filled with blood at a certain point and your hands are tired and you're in that costume and you're in the wig and you're trying to get the core out if you're right and if you miss a beat then you have to start over a little bit so or you have to figure out how to find your way to pick back up in the middle of it um in order to make sure that you know there are some cut points but uh it just was it was a stamina game i think you play piano in this also at least it looks yeah. like you play piano in this so uh, as someone who now can play violin, guitar, piano, probably some other things, but of those three, like what's what's the ranking? Where what's what's number one? Violin was my first love because I started that when I was seven, and I quit right afterwards. I didn't quit. Katrina happened, and then I lost my violin. So then I became I started playing piano and trumpet, and that's when that journey started. But I would say piano is the most useful, and I'm a man of function. I'm not a man of just like. <laughs> Just do something just for the sake of. I'm like, what does it give me? <laughs> what does it offer me at the end of the day? Um, and uh, I like piano because you can be a composer. You can write. You can you can accompany anyone, you know. Um, there's just so much range in it. Um, and also, you can get gigs anywhere and yeah. still make a check. So if all fails and my acting career falls apart, maybe you'll see me in the local pub or something hitting the keys. I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, it took me a long way. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, okay, last one for you. Um, you talked about, you know, the insane amount of work you had to put in on violin on top of everything. What do you feel like, if anything, you learned just about yourself as an actor, as like a creative person, looking back and realizing that you just were even capable of like putting the amount of work that you did on this film? Process works. Even if even if you're always like, you know, sometimes you're not in love with the results of certain things, but at the same time it is you, there's a version of it where you might not be able to accomplish it at all. And I have to keep that in mind. It was a big feat to say, I'm going to try to play Joseph Bologna and I'm going to play the violin in real time. And I'm going to play the harpsichord and I'm going to learn how to fence. And I'm going to do the acting to the best of my ability, all, all of it to the best of my ability. And the only way you can do that is if you come up with a plan and you stick to the plan and you trust the plan. And so as an actor, I've learned preparation is everything. And I, I just I just enjoy the process. I don't question the process and I allow it to be whatever will be on that screen will be on that screen. And if people don't like it, that's their problem, because I gave everything I had and I, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, th yeah, it's not. Yeah. Not working for the result, but for the journey. It shows, man. This movie's amazing. I got to watch it after that thing the other night. Oh, cool. You crush it. It's it's awesome. Uh that's that's all my time, but thank you. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it.